hard charging car going flat out over a crest. To a rally fan, there is no sweeter sight or sound. And after a break of six months, the hills of Nasik reverberated to the sounds of the Indian National Rally Championship. CDRs, Gypsies, Balenos, and his teams. In all, 27 cars took the start on day one with all the big names Gaurav Gill, Vikram Mathias, and a returning Narain Kumar eager to get off to a good start. The monsoons had arrived in Nashik a week before the teams, and as a result, the stages were wet and treacherous. 2009's Rally Star Cup winner Karna Kadur, making his debut in the Group N CDR class, was the first to fall foul of the terrible conditions. But both him and co driver Shumonita Ghosh walked away from the spectacular wreck. Ahead of the stricken Karna, Red Rooster teammate and defending Nashik winner Vikram Mathias was having trouble on the rain affected third stage. Wow, I mean, the, the third stage is really treacherous. I mean, it's. Uh... There's no way a tarmac tyre is going to work on most of that stage because of the uh, the slush that's on it. But um, the other first two stages are absolutely perfect. I mean, they are they great tarmac, and then you go into the third stage where it's 50-50, so it's 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 quite challenging. It's a lot of fun actually if you get out of it in one piece. Returning to competitive rallying after a gap of three years was never going to be easy. But Narain Kumar's day was made worse by technical problems with his Red Rooster-tuned CDR. During the first uh, run, we had a problem with the intercom, so I could not hear anything from any calls from my uh, co-driver, so we lost out a lot of time then. And uh, during the second run, I had a problem with my gearbox, so uh, it doesn't look good at the moment. So but let's see if we can make a change and uh, if it's running, then I'll probably drive tomorrow, otherwise not. But there were no such problems for Gaurav Gill, who made the best of the difficult conditions to take a commanding lead after the first day's rallying. Uh, they were very, very slushy. I mean, actually, I didn't expect so much slush. It was more of uh, running uh, gravel spec than uh, tarmac spec that we have here. Because it's a tarmac rally and it's actually quite uh, challenging because you're running on slick, uh, semi-slick tyres with cars all low to the ground and stiffer springs, so you don't have no traction at all. So potent was the Team MRF package that Gill's rivals were already conceding defeat. There is no way. There is no way. Uh, second loop of stages, uh, we did go quicker than Gaurav, but that is stage one and two, which is which is which is pretty much what tarmac stages are supposed to be. But uh, stage three, with all the mud and the slush, our tyres simply are not working there. They are not uh, meant to be driven on those stages. Day two saw the CDS settle down into a procession. In the N plus category, Gill led comfortably from the Red Rooster cars. While in the Group N class, Team Overdrive Sirish Chandran was third behind the new team, Ovion Racing, whose cars were driven by Sujay S and Girija Shankar Joshi. We are very happy. Uh, both uh, cars from the team has uh, placed first and second. It's a very good start for our team. Meanwhile, the Gypsy class, though small in number, was setting the stages alight with some special driving. A works Indian Army team returned to the INRC led by Red to Himalaya winner Major Amarinder Singh Brar. The best thing about a gypsy is if you're going at 80, you feel it's going at about 180. So <laughs> that's and because it's difficult to control a gypsy, it's it's going. Uh, firstly, it's a, it has a very happy tail. So to control it, you just need to be at it all the time. Uh, I don't know. I just I don't think about it. Yeah, it just happened. We're used to dirt, dirty tracks, dirt. You know, let the gypsy go wherever it wants and it comes back. But the tarmac was scary. I mean, the first day, I don't know how I managed, but it, it was very scary because on the tarmac, the chances of a, a vehicle like a gypsy toppling are much higher. With the rally largely settled on day two, the third day's super special stage gave the competitors a final chance to wow the crowds before heading off to receive their prizes. Runaway leader Gaurav Gill chose to play it cool, taking no risks and savouring a winning start to his campaign. It's been uh, it's been a great weekend overall for us and the team. The car's been uh, phenomenal. I uh, had a great car from uh, Jay Anand, uh, J.A. Motorsport. Tires worked beautifully this weekend. We were expecting a lot of rain, but um, uh, fortunately it didn't rain. And But we still had a lot of slush on the stages and uh, we got a right uh, selection of the tires, which uh, made us uh, 
have a nice sizable lead over our competitors so it's been a smooth rally so far the weather gods had been cooperative throughout the rally but decided to have some fun during the podium ceremony though neither the organizers or the winners seemed to mind too much up next round 2 on gravel in the blazing heat of coimbatore and we'll be there to bring you all the action